Okay, I'd like to talk in this video a little bit about the subject of food waste, which I believe is a very important issue. Um, I was prompted to make this video by a report on CNN, the CNN Hero series, about a young man in New York City who has launched an initiative to prevent food waste there. I'm not going to read the article in detail. I think sometimes I do that and it could be a little bit tedious. So I'm not going to read it in detail, but I'm going to give you a little bit of the background. Um, basically, Robert Lee, I'm going to put a link to this. The first paragraph says, like many children, Robert Lee was taught never to waste food. But growing up, the son of Korean immigrants who struggled to get by, he really took the idea to heart. The college, Lee joined a student group that delivered leftover dining hall food to homeless shelters. That was when he learned the magnitude of the problem. One in six Americans struggles with food insecurity. Yet in the United States, 40% of food goes to waste. Just the sheer amount of food that's being wasted is enough to eradicate, eradicate hunger, Lee said. After graduating two years ago, Lee decided to help take the concept of rescuing food off campus. Together with fellow NYU alumni, Louisa Chen, he co-founded Rescuing Leftover Cuisine. The non-profit picks up fresh food that would otherwise go to waste from New York City restaurants and gets it to people in need. So um, the, the article goes on to explain that. It's an uplifting story. Obviously, uh, this guy is doing something and and other people in the team are doing something that's very practical. Uh, it's helping people who are in, in need of help. And presumably it is reducing the level of waste, at least to some extent. I mean, him and his team can't do everything alone, but I would say they've made some difference. Um, one statistic in the video that really struck me, and I, I had no idea about this, he said New York City, well, Manhattan alone has 100,000 restaurants. 100,000. That, to me, is staggering. Now, I knew, okay, New York City is a major city. Manhattan's a major, the major financial, uh, commercial center of that city. But I had no idea it was as many as 100,000. I would have thought maybe 10,000, but 100,000, I had no idea. Anyway, um, that is a lot to work from. But um, obviously the report is focusing on the situation in the United States um, where a lot of food is wasted. But this is truly a global problem. I mean, in my country, I've, I've worked as a waiter on three occasions. And on all of those occasions, I, I had to um, throw out food that people hadn't eaten into the, into the waste bin. Now, I, I always felt uneasy doing that because I knew, I, I always at the back of my mind thought, well, why shouldn't, why can't we be giving this to a homeless shelter or something? But, you know, as a waiter, you really have minimal say in the process. You basically are paid to, to do what you're told. Um, I also remember feeling frustrated at customers who would order big, big plates of food and then only nibble a little bit and somehow they thought there was something polite about that. I do think there's people out there who think that um, actually only eating part of their food is somehow a polite gesture. It's not. It's waste. Now, obviously, it's not my place to tell other people what they should and shouldn't eat, but I do question people who will waste food not because they have a health problem, not because um, they're genuinely feeling sick or something, but simply because they're picky. I, I get quite irritated with people like that, quite frankly. Because if you if you are a bad eater, if you are a poor eater, why would you order so much? It doesn't make sense to me. If you know that you're going to waste it, then why order so much? Why not just order a little side dish that you're not going to waste? Um, and I do take this quite to heart because we live in a world... And, you know, there's always a risk here that it can sound like preaching, but it is a basic fact. We live in a world where people die of hunger, okay? Um, a few years ago, the Somalian famine, okay, the situation was exacerbated by al-Shabaab, but nevertheless, that was a devastating famine. 260,000 people perished in that famine. It was even worse than the famine of 1992 in that country. So to me, I, I just cannot accept that in the same world, there are people who just throw away food when it's not because, you know, they're sick or something. They're just they're picky. I, I can't rationalize that. I can't accept it. Um, there's cultural aspects to this as well. I mean, in China, 
a lot of food is wasted as well, despite China still being a developing country. But there's, there may be several factors for this. Firstly, China has a growing middle class population. So although it is still classed as a developing country, it's wealthier than it used to be. And there are fewer poor people than there used to be, which means there is less, less hunger overall. That's a good thing. Obviously, it's to be welcomed. But um, I, I have asked some of my Chinese friends who have admitted that in Chinese cuisine, a lot gets wasted. I said, well, why, why do you think the situation is? What, why do people... I mean, the thing that I couldn't understand was it's within living memory that China had devastating famines as well. You know, in, in this generation, we tend to associate famine with East Africa. But only 50 years ago, the worst famine in human history, arguably, took place in China. It was called The Three Bitter Years. There was a book published on it called Tombstone. Now, there's a lot of complex issues behind that. A lot of it was to do with Maoist policies. But it was a devastating famine between 1958 and 1961. By some accounts, and there's different figures on this, but by some accounts, 40 million people perished in that famine. That's a massive, massive, massive toll. An incomprehensible toll. So, to me, I, I couldn't understand why in today's China, people would throw away food when their ancestors struggled to get food. I, I didn't really understand that. But I asked about this, and someone told me it's actually the, the premise that having abundant food means you can overdo it and show off. It's a cultural thing to sort of show that you are in a period of prosperity, food prosperity or something. I still don't quite get that, but um, you know, I have to respect that's a cultural issue there. Um, but you know, food waste is a problem the world over, and I, I personally feel very uncomfortable with it. Um, I mean, personally, I, I waste very little food. I tend to eat what I get. Um, I'm not saying that I never get full, and sometimes I have to leave things over. Sometimes that's the case. But I can honestly hand on heart say 95% of the time when I make food, I eat all of it. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm better than anyone else or anything like that. I'm just saying that uh, for me personally, I don't like wasting food. But people who um, people who do, do irritate me because if you're not going to eat that much, then why, you know, why waste it? Why, why order a large portion or take a large portion if you're not going to eat it? Some all-you-can-eat buffets actually have a policy, and it's a policy I agree with. Um, please only take what you're going to eat because our chefs have made, made this food and we, you know, don't eat, waste it. Now, the whole principle of an all-you-can-eat buffet is that you take as much as you like, basically. But sometimes people underestimate that and they take too much. Um, i done it once, but I still try to eat as much as I possibly could. And in the end, I, I had a little bit left over, but generally I just don't like waste at all. I hate the idea of scraping food into a bin especially when it could be going to a homeless shelter. Um, I, I just think it's an unacceptable situation that we live in a world where people, you know, cannot have nutrition. It's And even developed countries, this is a situation. There's people in the United Kingdom and in the United States that have food insecurity and who can be classed as malnourished. Could be down to a wide range of reasons. Some people say it's a lifestyle thing because their parents give them the wrong food or something. I don't think that shows the whole picture, but... Yeah, anyway, um, I don't want this to be a negative video. I want it to be a positive video, in the sense that this young man and his team have a very good concept, and I wish them well. Um, let me know your thoughts on this. Um, wherever you live, do you think that a lot of food gets wasted? Um, I, I personally believe that restaurants... Okay, I, I said this, I want this to be a positive video. So what sort of outcomes can there be to this problem? I think restaurants can play a bigger role in, um, and this isn't to sort of, I'm sure a lot of restaurants do already do this, but I suspect a lot of restaurants don't. Um, I believe they can be play a bigger role in sort of using food that they don't use and using it for people who really need it, like send it to homeless shelters. Uh, not just homeless shelters, I'm sure there could be a wide range of other options that that could be used for without wasting it. Even give it to their employees um, to bring home or something. Just any way whereby it's not wasted. 
Um, so I do think definitely the catering industry has a role to play. But I also believe like so many of the world's problems, a lot of it also comes down to individual responsibility. Individuals have a role to play. So for example, if you go to a restaurant and you're the sort of person who you know you're only going to nibble a little bit of your dinner, then why why do that? Why waste the food? You know, um, to me that's unacceptable. Um, it's not my place to tell people what to do, but I don't understand that. And um, yeah, it does irritate me. I'll come out and say it, it irritates me because I think it, it's just not necessary. Um, if I had children, I would encourage them to eat as much as they can, um, not waste their food. I can understand people who have eating disorders. I understand there's complex issues behind that, but that doesn't apply in every case. There's a lot of people that are plain and just picky. And it's not just that they're picky. Actually, there's nothing wrong with being p picky in itself. But what is the problem is when you are a picky person and yet you still order big portions. Why do that? It's just stupid. It's a waste of food. And I'm sorry, but this does irritate me because people are dying in the world. It's just, uh, I'm just ranting here. But that's my thoughts. Uh, so what do you think could be cut done to avert food waste? There's also uh, a lot of other issues to do with over overproduction. That could be an area that needs to be looked at. Um, that's not necessarily a case of consumers, you know, taking food and then wasting it. There's actually a problem of overproduction. I remember a few years ago, there was um, rice grain warehouses in Thailand where the entire rice um, yield was wasted because it was overproduced or something like that. Um, I don't remember the exact details, but. Anyway, this is a major, major issue. Let me know your thoughts.